Okay, so what are you gonna do? Look at this apple. Are you gonna pick an apple for our snack or lunch? Yeah, does that look like a good one? Yeah. All right, go ahead and turn it. Do you wanna turn it up, turn the bottom up? There you go. Oh, that was ready. Look at that one. Oh, Perfect. big. It is big. Does it have any marks on it? No. That's pretty good. I think you should pick one more just the same. See if you can find another one just the same. Uh, I'll grab that one. No, that one has a mark on it. If you twist it too much, it's going to pop off. That one, looks, that one looks pretty good. Twist that one off. Or turn it up. Bottoms up. Uh oh. That's okay. That one wasn't quite ready yet. That's why it didn't pop off. There we go. Okay, grab that. Okay, throw it in the bag. It has a hole in the bag. That's bottom. okay, we'll cut out anything that's in there. Yeah, because the rest, like the whole, the rest of it has to be like, there can only be like one or two dots on it. Yeah, well but, if, there's, if the bottom's eaten out then it has a, it'll have a worm inside. Okay. All right, Holden likes the, the yellow one, so or the orangey ones. We're gonna grab some orangey ones. All right, now we're gonna grab some carrots. <laughs> Got a big mess of carrots in here that yeah. haven't been thinned. There's one. That's a little bit small. Well, they're all going to be small because we didn't thin them out, so we got piles of them, but they're all going to be on the smaller side. That one's really small. But they're not bad size, look. It's not bad size. Get another one back in here. And this one might be bigger. No, it's all about the same. We get one more? One more. Alright, down in there. There we go. Then can you help me stick this one in? Yeah, I'll help in a second. Do one more or is that good? That's good. Good enough? Okay. Yeah, Dad. How's it going so far? Good. Good? How tall is the grass here? Uh, those, the, uh, nettles? Stinging, stinging nettles are the only tall stuff here. Yeah. The grass are a little bit tall. Yeah, the grass over here is, it's not so bad. It's flattening out because it's turned um, colder, colder nights, so the grass is starting to die. Like, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try to find our spot today. Dad, do you even know where we're going? Yep. We just keep following the river. Um, it's gonna take us probably maybe an hour today because we're walking slow, I'm making a trail for you. Let's see what it looks like from your perspective. Down here, it looks like looks like a jungle. And we're not even in the jungle right now, we're just in an open area. We got a ways to go. Oh. Oh. How's it going so far? Good. What do you think about it? Fine. Fine? What do you got on your hands? Gloves, yeah, and got boots and boots tucked in. Did you get stung yet? No. No, neither did I. I've got gloves too. The reason I have gloves today is because I can make a pathway. And the reason I have gloves to help you make a fire. Right. Yeah, the gloves is mostly for the nettles. Yeah, and these. Oh, there's a thistle, there's an actual thistle. Yeah, sometimes those scrape you up too. Okay, bud. You find the hole? Yeah. <laughs> this stuff's way over your head, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually going pretty good. Holden's doing really well. And we're just going maybe 
eighth pace that I would go and uh, I'm just cutting a trail in front of him and he's falling behind and nice and slowly and carefully making our way out of course we picked the hottest day in the whole of well end of August we're almost September now and uh, got two liters of water which is not gonna last us so we're gonna be boiling but uh, what can you do be nice if it was like 15 degrees like it's supposed to be yeah it would be nice but it's way hotter way hotter isn't it sweaty yeah. hot sweaty sweaty hot yeah i'm sweating so we're getting there i think we're most of the way there need a couple more stretches to get through and we'll be at our spot What you singing? Nothing. I heard you singing. Just the oh, come keep coming. You sing like your mom. Hmm? I said you're singing like your mom. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Are we sweaty? Huh? Are we sweaty? Yeah. Are we gross? Ah, yeah, whatever. That's what we're going through. Junk. Okay. It's funny how Holden will be afraid of spiders and everything else at home. He doesn't realize how many spiders there are out here. But then in the woods, he's all fine because, well, his body's moving and his adrenaline's going and he's active so he forgets about all those fears. But he was just by himself, totally by himself in the middle of the woods and he's totally comfortable with it. I can imagine some kids who never come out in the woods are probably pretty afraid, you know. And he's standing by himself, whacking stuff, singing to himself, having a good time. And his mind is growing. They say there's nothing that grows a mind more than climbing a tree. Well, I don't think uh, walking in these dense woods is any different than trying to navigate up a tree. There's you have to make so many decisions when you walk through the woods. Am I gonna go left or right or straight? Am I gonna go over, under? Am I gonna am I gonna move this out of the way? And uh, a lot of kids don't get this life experience. And they don't really look for it either. You don't get the same when you go to a camp or you walk a trail man-made trail like this like <laughs> pretty much have to push through it really tight spaces so yeah I mean I wouldn't have taken them last year I think I wouldn't have taken them in June July it's hard for me with the mosquitoes. There's no mosquitoes today, which is a bonus. And I'm going a lot slower than I would ordinarily. But that's actually a blessing because it makes me think of what it would take to be on a survival, in a survival scenario. And you wouldn't, I wouldn't go as fast as I do when I'm, you know, fully rested. My stomach's full. I don't have to worry about catching food. So anyway, walking like a kid today and my heart rate's not as high and I'm not sweating as much. And we're taking little breaks here and there because Holden says he's tired. Take a break. There he goes. Following up. I think we're almost there too. I think just a couple but a couple more steps will be there. Can't hear my riffles yet, so I'm not totally sure, but I think we're close. Why was I wrong? Because you said it would be covered in glass. Well, it's totally covered. Look at it. It's all covered back there. This this spot isn't. Because too much people walked here. No, nobody walked here. And just... Why is there a fire here? I made it. Last time I had lunch here. That was a long walk, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I feel about that walk. Too long. Too long? Pants are soaked? 
Mine are soaked too. All the dew. I take a break and then uh, we gotta catch fish. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna get a drink? Okay, we're at our campsite now. A little bit of firewood over there. Yeah. Saved up firewood? Yeah. We put the lid back on there so we save what water we have. And then maybe you can tell everybody all the supplies we brought today. Okay. Okay? Because you just went through it. You did like the perfect survival, what, what you would do for survival. You, you opened the bag up and you checked everything. Two water bottles. Yeah. Gloves. Yeah. A fishing rod. Yeah, okay. A pot. Right. Forks. Okay. What else? A handle and a pot. Yeah, okay. Snacks. Yeah, what's that? Peanuts? Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate, I mean a caramel covered. Caramel covered, yeah. Okay, what else? Carrots. Carrots from, from the garden. From the garden, yep. Yeah. A sandwich in case we don't catch any fish. All right, that's an emergency sandwich. Yeah. Some cookies. Yeah, emergency cookies. Sugar. Sugar, what's that for? Uh, uh, apples. Apples from the garden, yeah. Okay, what else? Sugar, sugar, yellow and red tomatoes. Yeah. Butter and uh, rice. Yeah. What's that? Onion and pepper. Roasted garlic and uh, pepper? Yeah. Yeah, it's a spice. Fire starter. Yeah, a bow drill, yeah. Whoa. Bow drill stuff. What's all in there? The bow drill stuff? Yeah. yeah. Keeping dry? This. Yeah. Two of these, in case one of them breaks. Yeah, a spare one. And this, yeah. the starter fire. Okay. The tin foil and some garlic on the inside. Yeah. And some tin foil for our fish. For, yeah, one for the apples, one for the fish. All right, so what's the next step? Mm. We have enough water, we're good. Two waters and daddy's fire rack. Fire rack, okay, good. So now we're gonna look to going to get some fish. And then if we get fish, then we're gonna come back and start our fire.